Hi, this is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors, and I have a surprise for you today. We are at the new Regency Bar and Grill. This is the place that the power brokers come in the morning for breakfast, and it is also a hot, action-packed bar. We're going to go to the bar and meet Carlo, who is going to show us a very special tequila drink. Then we're going to go back to my kitchen, and I'm going to show you a tequila drink the Flirting with Flavors way. I'm looking for a great tequila drink. I just ordered a tequila sunrise from Carlo. Now he's going to show us how to make it. You can just start with a chill glass. Oh, I like that. Make sure it's nice and chill. We'll start some fresh uh, pomegranate. I don't like to use the big stuff. No, we use real pomegranate juice. A little bit of simple syrup. Syrup, right? And now we we'll start with the good stuff. Okay. Patron. Good. Patron silver. Okay. So we do about two ounces of the tequila. Two ounces. Ooh, that'll be a nice strong drink. We have it with tequila in. We're gonna put some uh, fresh squeezed orange juice, about two ounces also. And we top it up with a fresh slice of orange. Enjoy. I will. How gorgeous does this look? This drink is delicious. Do you think I can make something as good at home? Let's go back to my kitchen and I'll put the flirting with flavors twist on it. Thank you, Carlo, for that delicious drink orange pomegranate and tequila, that got me thinking about tequila too and fruit and I'm going to do mango in my tequila drink today and I'm going to spice it up with some serrano pepper. It's going to be a little different but a lot of flirting with flavors. All right, I'm going to make a simple syrup with honey and the serrano pepper. Throw these peppers in the pan with the honey. To the quarter cup of honey, I also added a quarter cup of water. And now this goes on the stove. <laughs> Our sugar syrup is nice and spicy. And I'm gonna pour it in a little bowl here. All those peppers have infused in the syrup. Okay, now, I also want a little lime juice in this. So I've squeezed two limes already. This is my third one. All right, so before I finish up the drink, I wanna ice my glasses because just like they did at the Regency Bar and Grill, we always want our glasses nice and chilled when we're making a cocktail like this. In order to get this great puree, I'm using already frozen mangoes, but if you have fresh mango, use fresh mango. And then I'm gonna add my sugar, or honey syrup, I should call this, with the infused serrano, and lime juice. And I also wanna add a little bit of water. There we go. So I'm using two ounces of tequila here per drink. And I'm gonna make two drinks today. So I'm gonna use four ounces. Wow, I know how to add. <laughs> I'm gonna put half of this in here as well. There we go. And add a little ice. Comes the fun part. We get to do the little shaker, shaker, shaker. I feel it getting cold in my hands. Uh huh. Ready for action here. Oh, 
How pretty is that? I'm gonna garnish with a little bit of pepper on top here. Woo, that's got a bite to it. Thank you, Carlo, from the Regency Bar and Grill for inspiring us to make this delicious, spicy mango Rita. Please let us know what happens after you make it and after you drink it. <laughs> this is Pamela Morgan for Flirting with Flavors. Here's to ya. Mmm, this is the spice bomb here. By the way, did you notice my new haircut? I wanted to spice up my hair too. Please let me know how you like it in the comments below.